Hi guys, this is Bella Gemma Nails and this is the design I will be bringing you today. It is the gold with red design that I did for Miss Jasmina. It's not identical to her design, but it's a take on it. So stay tuned to watch more. So this is the design that I did for Miss Jasmina. You can see it's somewhat similar to the one I did but it is slightly bit different. You could see how she combined the perfect lip art to go with it. So stay tuned to see more and make sure you check out her page for inspiration on lips and nails. So I have already put the nails on top of the base as I showed you in my previous video. You know, I just tape them on there because it's easy to maneuver and hold the pencil however you want to hold it. For the red nail here, we're going to be doing the cheetah print design on these, but we're going to do a side swoop of gold. So with the other nail, the base is going to be the gold or the rose gold. But on this one, we're going to flip it around. You can see the base of this nail is the gold. With this one, we're going to paint it red. What you're going to do now is you're going to create a line that divides the red and that rose gold. Use any thin or fine nail art, nail polish, Sometimes these get to tend to get very thick. A tip is to dunk them in warm water and it loosens up the polish. I'd never add thinner or no polish remover to my polishes. I just don't like to compromise the integrity and eventually it just gets clumpy again. So just create a line. Part of why I like personally designing on pencils or pens like this is because I can hold the brush and just roll it. Now that you have striped the nails there, you're going to let them dry. Last thing you want to do is smear that black. We're not putting a clear coat on this yet because we're, go we're going to be putting the cheetah print markings on the nails. Now these are the thumbnails, but you can alternate and do the red base with the gold on each or every other nail, or you could leave the design as is. Kind of like switching it up a little bit so every toe or every nail is different, but it's entirely up to you. You could simplify your life and keep it all the same. Now this design is not going to be exactly like the image I showed you of Miss Jasmina's nails, but it's a take on it. Let's start with the, for this, you're going to need your dotting tools in various sizes. So we're going to be creating the cheetah print. These dotting tools you can find anywhere. So, here I'm going to create the cheetah print on the red part. Now go back to your dotting tools to do the outline of the cheetah print, the outline of the brown. Go with the thinner, a thinner point because you don't want the black to overpower the brown. Just kind of go around it. Stay away from the black line. You don't want to touch the black line and make it look like a mess. 
and that do some very fine dots in between. You can see that coming together. For this part, I'm going to use the gold as the cheetah side. Now, this design looks amazing when you do a gold base with the red. The gold golds that I have are as dry as the Mojave Desert, so I opted to use a rose gold that I that I particularly love. But you can use any color that you want or any color combination. You could do white and red. You could do any other color, basically. But this is the original design, and so that's what we're going for. What I'd like to do next is bring in the gold leaf. Because what we're going to do is place it on the red. For the next step, after you've applied your clear coat there, or gel, when you use polish, please keep in mind that the black does smear if it's not fully dry and if you're using a very harsh clear. I would suggest that you brush on the clear polish on the part that's painted black first and then brush the clear over the top part of the design separately. When you do that, it prevents the black from smearing into the other part of the color. And then the second coat, brush it all evenly and you won't have the risk of color transfer. I'm going to be doing a little extra. <laughs> By a little, I mean a lot. I took some of the chains that I have as well as, well as jump rings and I took some stones there. I opened, I pried this open with this pinching tool. I took the wire part out and I'm just keeping the jewel. It is large in size there, you could see. What you wanna do is you're gonna need wire cutters as well, so that's why I have those here. I took the chain and I measured it against the nail. At this point, you would put your gel on top of the nail where you're going to set the chain. In this case, I'm looking at the dimension of this nail. There's more red than there is gold. So I'm going to put the chain right above the black line. At this point, you would put either your gel or you could use glue on top and you'll just put it through the links. From this point, I took the jump ring that's attached to the chain and I determined that I want it to go on top and I took the stone here that I took apart and it creates somewhat of a pit there. What you're gonna do there is you'll add your glue, your acrylic or your acrylic, clear acrylic and you'll deposit the gem right in the center. It creates somewhat of a higher prong setting there. So because I want to add a little bit more to this nail because that's what we do here. I got a small jump ring. I placed some gel on the nail. Okay, so you will have to use your UV lamp at this point. I have the five millimeter crystals in amber and you're going to deposit 
that five millimeter stone in the jump ring. So this is the final accent nail with the cheetah print design. I hope you've all liked it. I hope you like all the tips and tricks I'm giving you. Remember, you can use just the base color itself for your nails or toes, or you could do the accent nails for your ring fingers, depending on your preference. If you liked this design, please rate and leave me any comments below as to what you would want to see. I will be uploading a lot more videos so you can all enjoy. And don't forget to check out Miss Jasmina's Instagram and channel. I'll post the links below so you can see and get inspired as much as I have. She is my muse and these nails were created for her originally. This is my take on her design. I didn't replicate it exactly, but you get a very good idea of what I do. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.